Hello everyone! Welcome to a new devlog of my game Climb Up High, a 3D platformer where you play as a robot that has to find its way back up. I am still working on the temple level and I'm not finished yet with the drafting phase. Nevertheless, I would like to share the current state of the project. The level starts at the bottom of the stairs and you must walk your way around the tower to find a way up. There are still many visual elements missing, like the elevator that shows you how you ended up there in the first place. And of course many other decorative things. Let's take a look what actually was added. I created a little platform that works as a checkpoint for the player. So when you die, you respawn at the last triggered checkpoint. To communicate that your position was saved, I added a speech bubble saying what just happened. In addition, a ring lights up on the platform of the checkpoint. The speech bubble is just a simple plane with an image texture that points towards the camera. Keep in mind, this is all still work in progress and the design may change during the development. I combined the idea of the rotating rings with the attached platforms as one of the earliest challenges. Now let's take a closer look at the new challenges that were added since the last dialogue. The top part of this level is still quite empty and without any hazards. This is the next thing I will have to tackle. The main conclusion for this level is that a square level does not work so well with my camera setting. Therefore I will consider going back to a more cylindrical shaped main tower for the upcoming level designs. I may have to tweak a bit the camera for this specific level, but I feel it's okay for the first draft. As mentioned earlier, the whole level lacks in decorative elements. Those will be added in the second phase of the process as soon as all levels are set. Even so, I started to think about the design a bit and I'd like to show you how I create my current textures. I mainly work with Affinity Designer for this process so I can keep everything as vector files. To avoid that everything looks too polished, I use specific brushes for the lines. This gives them a weathered look. In addition to that, I multiply a grunge texture on top of it and set it on a low opacity. Last but not least, I have to make sure that every texture is seamless. A few weeks ago I came across a video by Jason Wayman about source control. I looked into it and now I'm using plastic for Unity to keep my project backed up. I found it was a bit tricky to set up, but it is super easy to use. You can find the link to his video in the description below. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.